Hey guys, we are continuing with our uh, uh, adding picker series in, for our Appsidator Titanium native iPhone slash Android app and in this video we are going to be adding a date picker into our app. Okay, so uh, in my clean app.js I wrote my uh, usual uh, window, create window variable when with a background color of white. Okay, nothing else done. It's just the default uh, project. Now, the first thing I want to do is create the picker. So var picker equals tie.ui.create, oops, create picker. And inside here, I'm going to say selection indicator is true. And uh, what, do you, what should I say? The type is going to be a tie.ui a dot picker underscore type underscore date. So this one, there we go. And I'm going to be adding a couple more uh, properties inside here after I uh, do something else. Now, uh, before that, I am going to be creating uh, a results label. So it's going to display the date and time, and not time, but the date of what I selected in my picker. So that is going to equal uh, yeah, create label, label. And inside here, uh, the text is going to say, I don't know, uh, date, select date below, or something like that, and then uh, it's going to be 25 pixels from the top, because I want it to be uh, higher than the position of the picker, and the width is going to be auto, because it's going to change, it's exactly, it's the same as my previous videos with my other uh, picker results. Uh, variable and the text align is going to be center and that's it okay so what we need to do is create or use the JavaScript's date object for our date picker so what we're going to do is var uh, min date equals new date now uh, in order to be able to create this, we need to set a minimum date and a maximum date for our picker. So if I want to set my minimum date to be January the 1st, 1970, uh, if a user wants to go before that, they won't be able to, and it's going to like go do this like bouncy animation where it goes back to the nearest uh, valid date. So I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to declare the minimum uh, uh, valid date and the maximum uh, a valid date and then I'm going to set the default date so I'm going to be creating three variables min date a max date date and set value like so okay so coming back to my min date I'm going to uh, say var min date equals new date new date yep and min date dot set for year is going to be what I want it to be not too far 2000 will do and then min date dot set month is going to be uh, hmm, hmm I don't know zero one yeah actually zero zero you'll see why in a sec and min date dot set date to be zero one. Okay, and I'm going to go to my uh, var max date, and that equals new date and max date dot set full year is going to be two thousand and twenty, and max date dot set full uh not the full set month is going to be uh let's say eleven actually 10 and you'll see why in a sec too so max date oops max date dot set date I want it to be 31 because that's the long the maximum date you can have so lastly for set value equals new date oops inside here we're going to say set value dot uh, set for year to be What's the default? Oh, it's 2013. Um, well, I'm going to set it to be today. The default value. So set value dot for year is going to be 2013. The set month is going to be 
uh, 02 now. Uh, the time I uploaded and recorded this video is March, however, I set the month to be 2. Now this is because, just like looking at this and this, uh, for my other set month in my other variables, JavaScript uh, counts from 0. So if you want to set a month uh, for uh, something, you need it to be minus 1. So uh, let's just write month equals actual month actual month minus one so it's like uh, so November equals uh, 11 minus one so that equals 10 10 okay so it's January first uh, it's March now so I set this month to two and lastly set value dot uh, set date date is going to be uh, what was it 24 okay so that's done the last no the penultimate thing I want to do is go below my picker give it some space and add the event listener for our picker so picker dot add event listener and we are going to be listening to the change and the callback function oops, is e there and the results dot text which is our label is going to equal e dot value so it's going to be equal the value of e which is the callback function so it's going to display the date voila actually it's a bit early to say voila I haven't shown you anything and lastly I am going to add window add uh, results result results and win dot add picker and win dot open lastly okay so I'll come back once I actually iPhone simulator doesn't take time so I'm just going to run it now before you run the iPhone simulator there's one more thing I forgot to do so I am going to do this now now what you have to do last uh, not lastly after you've after or before you've added this window open is like I said in my first minute or so in this video I wanted to add some more properties to this picker now I set the min date max date and the set value to this however I need to add that to my pickers now so I am going to do this so I am going to set a min date is going to equal the variable min date the max date is going to equal the variable max date which is why I just uh, created a variable with the name exactly the same as the property and the value is going to not oh, screw this not screw this sorry I've, I accidentally used equal instead of uh, colon I'm getting frustrated of myself value is going to be equal set value and the type is going to be the same so that's it so I'm going to save my work and load my app okay so we have our application loaded it says select date below and if I select I don't know my, it, the, the set value the default value is today which is March 24th 2013 which I set it to be and if I I don't know change this to 2011 or something it's going to say 2011 slash 20 uh, not slash uh, hyphen 24 and that's going to be the time of my recording and if I go all the way here uh, the the what do you call it the minimum date minimum valid date which I set in my min uh, value is actually uh, 2000 uh, 2000 so if I go over this it's going to put give me an error and if I come on oh I could do it that way I could do it like this if I go over 2020 it's going to give me an error as well so it's going to bounce back to the nearest valid uh, position. So that's the date picker in uh, Amstelator Titanium. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.